All right, how's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech. We are here, very, very busy Sunday in the shopping plaza. I mean, we have, you know, we have Dillard's, we have Marshall's, we have Home Goods, we have uh, Alta Beauty, we have um, a Japanese steakhouse, this Las Margaritas, we have uh, Panera Bread, a gym, Spectrum Mobile over here. Uh, five star pizza, Dick Sporting Goods, all kind of stuff going on here. So, um, Kirkland's, uh, Cray in a big movie theater, a premium movie theater called Epic Movie Theater. It's a 12 um, movie theater, 12 uh, screen movie theater with some massive screens. I mean, huge. It's IMAX level. So, uh, I'm shocked this plaza almost didn't make it um, through the 2012 recession almost didn't make it but now it's booming more than ever fantastic let's get to the speed test AT&T is the only one in this area with no 5g at all I know it's very rare to see 5g e on a device but that's what you're gonna get with AT&T over here um, do they work yes do they work well sometimes when it gets super congested today I'm shocked it's even pulling this kind of speed and what's crazy is they have a corporate store um across the highway like right across the highway they have a corporate store and you know i wouldn't put one where your network isn't the best and that's pretty much what they did which is very strange um we got 19 for the fast.com we're going to run the speed test and see if it can match up meanwhile verizon uh let's run a speed test also and then we'll hit t-mobile in a minute uh let's see so L, uh, uh, at and t's lte uh, seems to be doing good on lte verizon on 5g use uh uw ultra wide band we are getting 150 160 161 for the downlink for the uplink we're getting over 20 at t they finished uh, 54 millisecond ping, 9 millisecond jitter, uh, 39.7 for the down and, th and 9.68 for the up, not too bad. Verizon at 40 millisecond ping, uh, 161 for the down, 22.6 for the up, 9 millisecond jitter. So that matches at and t's jitter. It's ping slightly better, downloads much, several times faster and uploads about twice as fast. Man, a little over up, twice as fast. Let's do a fast.com for Verizon to see if it matches up what that said. So right now, let's see. 130, 150, 120s. It's gonna settle at like 140. Yep, 140. So slightly slower, but it is close. It's close enough in the margin of error. Uh, where's T-Mobile? Where's the Pixel? Get over here, Pixel. Take AT and T off for a second. We'll put the Pixel on. Full display here. Uh, let's see what the Pixel does. I have noticed the Pixel had got an update recently, and it's kind of making T-Mobile's NSA not that good on the Pixel. Um, but it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes I see the problem. But we'll just run with it so far. Maybe it'll show us. No, it's not gonna show itself on screen today. Anyways, 19 millisecond ping, so that's the best ping time. 408 for the download. This is 140 megahertz of uh, N41 with band 66 at 20 and band two at 20. You, The towers around it have 150. This one somehow got stuck with 140. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure when they do the next spectrum uh, swap, when they turn off uh, LTE, they'll correct the mistake um of course let's run the fast.com for uh t-mobile as well if i can get it working hold on I'm having some issues with the there we go with the pixel um Okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's matching up pretty nicely. About four. So T Mobile for sure, at least outdoors, 100% is the fastest. 
There's no debate about that. But let's see if that matches up with the download test. So you know we're gonna download our favorite little video, uh, The Irishman, cleared all the cache, uh, deleted all the videos from um, from everything, so let's, let's get it going. Where's Netflix on the iPhone? I'm just shocked at and is surviving with LTE. Not even low band, just regular LTE. That's pretty astounding if you ask me. Okay. And, uh... All right, so we we just got started with at and It's gonna say pause. I don't know why it does that on the iPhone. Um, and then it's just gonna pick up. So I'm gonna wait for it to pick up. Very strange how it goes to pause. It says waiting for connectivity. Okay, now it says downloading, as you can see. So we're gonna give at t the head start because they're the slowest. And uh, you know how I'm gonna do this? I'm gonna go from the slowest on the speed test. So Verizon will be next. And let's see if uh, T-Mobile is so good that they can just bypass Verizon and AT&T. Okay, so Verizon has started. And now T-Mobile has started. So there's T-Mobile. Here's Verizon. They're going in. AT&T. Uh, they're having some, they're not doing nothing. Verizon's doing very well. T-Mobile coming in for the home stretch already. And T-Mobile is done. Verizon's almost halfway done. Uh, let's download another one for T-Mobile and see if they can do it again. Verizon, T-Mobile, done again. Let's go for a third. Can we get three? Okay, T-Mobile's running. Verizon still, hold on. Where are you, Verizon? Come on, don't do this to me. Okay, Verizon's still working on it. Verizon's still working on it. T-Mobile's done again. Let's go for a fourth one for T-Mobile. Can we get four? Verizon's almost finished. Verizon's wrapping it up. We're not gonna get four, Verizon's done. So we almost got, we got three and a half. AT&T, yeah. See, speed tests don't tell the whole story. And when you ask, why do you need 5G? Well, here you go. You want to download something? No, it's not going to happen in a crowded area. So I get a lot of comments. Well, why do I need 5G? Well, there you go. That's why. The next one's going to be, well, and I get other comments. Oh, I'll just wait until I get home. And I'm like, the convenience of 5G is you don't have to wait until you get home. You could just do it. That's the convenience. So... Uh, let's run Call of Duty. I'm not gonna do it on the on AT and T because we already know it's it's just they're gonna get embarrassed. So that's T Mobile running the Call of Duty. This is a 2.5 gigabit file. Actually, we know what we have to do. We have to be fair. I have to try to get Verizon and T Mobile. At the same time, excuse me for one quick second. I'm gonna get this right. Ready, set, uh, go. Okay, got them at the same time. T-Mobile, Verizon. T-Mobile's pending didn't last as long. They just went straight in. So we have three, four, five, Verizon. Verizon seems to be, they're really good at these Google uh, downloads. Very good. Usually T-Mobile and Verizon are neck and neck. I'd say Verizon wins a lot of the time where T-Mobile comes like right behind them or they're neck and neck. Sometimes T-Mobile wins, but on camera, usually Verizon takes the cake. This was the same time. Verizon did pinned a little bit longer. 
and it could show, but Verizon's download size is slightly smaller it, for some reason. On the Fold is 2.51 gigs, and on the Pixel is 2.58 is gigs. So Verizon has an advantage of having a slightly smaller uh, file to download. It doesn't seem to be holding T-Mobile back in this area though. This Ericsson equipment is the real deal. So they're at 70%, 72. Verizon's at 39, 40%. Uh, T-Mobile's now at 86%, 89%. Verizon's at 40, they're having a little, Verizon's having an issue right here. They're getting kind of slow. T-Mobile's at 99%, it's, it's a wrap. Pretty much, I don't think Verizon can come back from this. But not slow at all, 52, um, and T-Mobile is installing, so it's done. Verizon, uh, 55%, 56%. 57, 58, and AT&T, they wouldn't have been able to do it. It's too big of a file. If they can't pass the Irishman test, they can't, this this was not gonna work for them. So unfortunately, I don't see a permit for AT&T to even upgrade this site. Um, it's funny, cause it says this this is covered here in uh, 5G plus, but it's not, they're, they're overstating their coverage. And I don't like that at all. I think the average consumer is going to expect a great experience from the plus and they're not going to get it because it's not actually there. So that's going to do it for me. Nice, sunny, beautiful day out here in Ocala, Florida. Um, what, 83, 84 degrees is, is very nice. I think it's 80, maybe it's 82, 83, 83 degrees. Very nice. Can't go wrong. Uh, if you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Terrell352. I give updates sometimes when I'm not able to make a video on it. Twitter is well you, where you will find my most up-to-date. It's easy to post to Twitter. Just boom, post a picture, I'm done. If I'm doing something, I, you know, it only takes a couple of minutes, like a minute or two. These videos take a little bit longer. So yeah, just uh, follow me there. But please subscribe to the channel though. I'm still making more content. It's heating up out here. Uh, summer's fast approaching for Florida because you know we really skip spring and go straight to summer um yeah it's gonna do it till the next video I'm out